Hey everybody, welcome to A Drill in a Dream. So I am back at my house. As you may have seen, I just got back from an exciting adventure in Europe and it was so much fun. If you missed the video, um, you can check it out here. But um, I had a great time, but I'm happy to be back working at the house again. Mostly, mostly, maybe a little bit not, but mostly. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to give you a few updates because there have been a lot of things that have went on, little conversations and stuff, and I didn't want you to miss out on anything important. It seems like so many times, you know, little things happen and then I forget to tell you or I see in the comments people asking for updates on this and that, and so I wanted to tell you a few things. Um, the foundation. A lot of people have been asking about the foundation. The answer to that is no, it hasn't been fixed yet. Uh, that is one of the reasons why I'm kind of at a little bit of a standstill in the house. There are only so many things that you can do um, before the foundation is fixed because I don't want things to shift when he's fixing it and mess up anything that I've done. So, so far, nothing has been built or anything. It's just been mostly taking things down. Um, I did talk to the um, contractor who's going to be working on the house, or my dad did, that was about a week ago, and at that time he said two to three more weeks. So I'm hoping within the next couple of weeks he'll be able to come here, but you know, he's busy, everybody's busy. I don't know about where you guys live, but where I live, um, it just seems like it takes forever to get people to work because they're all so busy, you know, which is, it is what it is. You know, all I can do is be patient because everyone has their projects and everyone's projects are just important, as important to them as mine is to me. So I have to be patient and um, wait my turn as much as I, you know, I'm really, really wanting this to get done because I can't continue on on the project until this part is done. You know, I understand that everybody has projects and they probably, you know, requested the work a lot before longer before I did. So I have to, you know, wait my turn. Um, but anyway, once he does come, he said that it shouldn't take too long, probably a few days. So after that happens, then we can really get rolling. Um, but in the meanwhile, I am trying to find different projects that I can do now without messing anything up and so that I can keep staying busy and making progress for what I can do now. So um, my thought for today is I want to do a little bit of weed eating um, around this whole area here so that when the time comes, you know, it is ready for him. I want to make sure it's ready for him. I cleaned the whole basement so that was all ready for him and um, I might have to weed it again but at least if I do it today I'll get a head start because when he does come I want it to be as quick and easy and seamless and as ready for him as possible. So I'm going to do this job and then after that I want to share with you a little bit about um, a conversation I had with my electrician. So we are making some progress in conversations but just not so much in the actual physical labor. But that's okay, everything is important. The conversations, time spent designing, everything is just as important as the actual work. And that is one thing that I'm finding. So anyway, let me get to work. guacamole it's hot today so I broke a string and I don't have any more string and or know how to put more string on so that is going to be it for weed eating today that's okay because like I said it's ridiculously hot it feels like Florida all righty so let us talk for a brief moment about electrician stuff I had a very long and detailed conversation with my electrician yesterday, the day before, doesn't matter. Um, he walked through the house and just asked me about like, you know, what I'm thinking, what my plans were. And so I told him my plans, etc. And he said, basically, which is not unexpected, that I need to figure out exactly everything. That's the problem. This whole um, thing, my goodness, 
If you've never done this, if you're thinking about doing this, a whole entire house renovation sort of deal, holy guacamole, it is a lot. It's just a lot in general. You have to think 18 million steps ahead so that you can do the steps that you're doing now. Like, I need to know every little detail about where everything is going to go. You know, I need to figure out exactly the design of the kitchen and I need to know exactly where, you know, my washer and dryer, like every little detail where I need to know which direction my doors are going to go so you can know where to put the light switch. It's like every little detail you need to know now so that you can plan for it, you know. With um, the electricity, you need to know you know, where your light switches are, you need to know the different kinds of wires that go for different appliances and all these things that I didn't know anything about. Um, But I'm learning so much. It's great. (laughs) It's a little overwhelming. It's a lot overwhelming. But um, that's okay. It's it's a really good learning experience. Um, So just be aware of that if you're thinking about doing this. I um, didn't realize, I, I knew I expected it to be a lot, a lot of thinking and stuff, but my goodness, it's just a lot of planning and it's overwhelming for sure when you're trying to figure out every single thing and everyone's coming to you for what you know what you want to do and I'm like man I don't know anything you know but it's okay it's good it's a good learning experience um definitely so anyway what I need to do for um the electrician is figure out exactly where everything's going and I need to make a you know a written plan of okay this is where you know, I want this light here, I want a fan here, I want this switch to be, you know, going from this this door and this door, turn on and turn off, you know, on the bottom of the stairs, the top of the stairs, every little detail like that. And so that is what is spinning around in my head constantly right now. I'm sure that I will have more videos about, you know, the design plan as I think through all of this. I definitely took everyone's comments into consideration with my last design video, I think the the thing that stood out the most to me um, with that was a lot of people mentioned instead of having the wash washer and dryer going through the bathroom, the laundry room through the bathroom, to instead have a room that had the you know my coat closet as well as the washer and dryer. And I'm I'm thinking about that. I'm considering that. I went a lot. I thought a lot about, um, some people mentioned having like that joint room, but instead that being like a mudroom. So I would walk through that to get into the house. And I, I went back and forth on that a lot because mudrooms are super, super handy for sure. Um, I think I decided that I don't want that just because that would tend to be the room that m- most people would walk through and I wouldn't want it to be, you know, messy or anything. I'd rather have it be hidden away. Also, I have a lot of clothes that I hang dry instead of putting in the dryer, just depending on the fabric and stuff. I do a lot of hanging clothes. And so I want to make sure that I have a space that is dedicated to be able to have my clothes hanging up to dry without having a lot of foot traffic just because it's it's ugly, you know. Um, But I do think I would be okay with having a coat closet and the laundry room. That's kind of what I have at the house where I live now. And it, it works out pretty well. Oh, and one other thing I wanted to let you guys know that happened. Um, I did order windows. I didn't order every window. I only ordered the ones that I knew for sure, the which are the ones that are in the house now, and they're all basically like broken in some way. So at least that I can get the cl- um, the windows all closed up before winter. I didn't order the ones that I wasn't sure about, like for example, the window over the sink or in the new bathroom or laundry room because I wasn't just like solid sure about them because they are going to be new windows that I can basically have whatever size I want, but I want to make sure that I know the right size on them. Um, So the windows that I ordered are really just going to be replacement windows for windows that are already here now. So I did order like new vinyl windows that are going to be really good for heating purposes and stuff. Just it is so cold here and stuff. Um, I know some people mentioned fixing the windows that I have now. Um, I know that McKenna did it. I, um, a lot of people have asked if I ever watch McKenna, XO McKenna YouTube channel. And I do. She's actually like one of the very few YouTubers that I do watch because she is doing a house, I would say, not really similar to mine <laughs> because her house is like massively incredible and stuff. Um, I mean, I love my house. I love my house too, but it's not quite to the same scale. Um, So she's redoing a really old farmhouse and her videos are great. 
um, I know that she redid all of her wood windows that were in the house. And I considered it a little bit in a way, but mostly, I mean, I watched that video and she was saying how it was just like, took so long and it was this huge, huge project. And let's just be frank, I have a full-time job. This entire house is just crazy and I just don't have time and or the know-how and I'm just try trying to make it by. <laughs> so I am not doing that. I am going to keep all the windows for now at least and maybe there's something that I can use them for in the future. Um, maybe some sort of a greenhouse or who knows. Um, or maybe I'll want to redo them someday. But for right now, I'm buying windows, um, vinyl windows that are heat efficient. And honestly, I'm just excited to see them put in just because I think they'll make such a clean sort of look. Um, right now, you know, there's these windows that are caked on with a million different coats of paint and stuff. And I mean, I am sure that they could be, you know, brought back and put new glass in them and everything. But I just don't have the time or energy at this point in the renovation. So that is the news on the windows for now. So I will keep you updated with that. I The reason I ordered them, I'm nowhere near ready to put them in, but I know that everything's taking so long. And so I'd rather have them here um, for the time that we are going to put them in. I think they said it's going to be five or six weeks um, before they get them in. So I wanted to make sure I at least got the bowl, got the ball rolling for the windows that are all cracked and broken and stuff right now because when it comes to be time for winter I want to at least be able to close in the house even if it's not who knows where it's going to be um one more thing last thing um people have asked when I'm hoping to move in um my answer to that would be my goal and I have no idea if it's possible plausible or any of the above but my goal would be able to move in in the spring um my goal would be able to have it kind of sort of insulated and stuff by fall and then move in in the spring. I have no idea if it's possible. I also don't really expect to be fully, fully done by the time I move in, even if it's not totally done. But anyway, who knows? I'm willing to negotiate. It is what it is, you know? I don't want to rush things and have issues. So that's what I'm looking at for now. Anyway, I'm sure there are a lot of other questions that I forgot to answer, but that's where I'm at now. Tune in next time and hopefully we'll be doing something more helpful to the house. But I'm glad that I was able to catch you guys up because you guys are such an important part of this whole journey, you know, and I'm so glad that you are watching along and seeing the progress because it really has been so great to have you for a countless number of reasons. But I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll tune in next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.